HJK Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So welcome to the session guys. So for the benefit of the people who joined today, briefly, first five minutes I will go through uh, about this course. Then we will start with the topic of the uh, today, which is Selenium IDE. Okay, so welcome to the session guys. I myself Srinivas. I'll be your trainer for this course. Uh, this course basically uh, a Selenium automation course where we can learn Selenium along with Java as the programming language. Okay, Selenium is actually supported by multiple languages as you see in my screen now. So like C Sharp, Ruby, Python, Java, JavaScript, any of these languages can be used to develop automation scripts using Selenium. But this course aimed at uh, developing Selenium automation scripts using Java as the programming language. So even uh, in the market also, if you see widely used this Java, then we have C Sharp, Python, uh, in the next uh, line and then we have ruby javascript also a lot of people even use javascript too okay so that way we are actually learning the language which is widely used for selenium okay this course is aimed to teach both java basics and selenium concepts as well because we don't expect everyone to be a programmer who joining this course so that way We'll be starting with Java as well, which we will learn core Java. So we don't really get into advanced Java because aim is to learn Selenium here, not the Java as uh, Java as a developer. Okay, so our aim is to learn uh, Java so that we become a Selenium developer. So that way we are going to learn Java core Java, which we require for our Selenium purpose. Okay, so that is the one. And then we are going to learn about Selenium and its tools. So as you see in, in my uh, screen on my screen now, Selenium is actually a tool which automates browsers. Okay, so what do you mean by that is any application which you can open via web browser can be automated via Selenium. First of all, let us understand why we need to automate. What is the benefit of automation? Okay, simple. So normally in a um software life cycle we do have the different phases right like uh requirement gathering design and then developing the application and then test and finally deliver it right so that's what happens so if you see the phase of testing where we need to really execute a lot of our requirements as a test case and then we need to ensure that whether the system is developed as per the requirement or not. So in this process, what happens is we get multiple builds, we get multiple, uh, we have multiple requirements and we need to test a lot of things. So that way the current developing scenarios, if you see most of them, most of the scenario and uh, most of the developing uh, models, a lot of them use like uh, Sprint or any of the agile models. So in this case, what happens is time to market is very low with respect to the time. In the sense, we may have um, monthly releases, weekly releases, bi-monthly releases like that. So whenever you do have the stringent timelines, to execute all our test cases manually takes a lot of time. So sometimes what happens is everything if you have to execute manually, you may miss even the deadline to execute a lot of test cases which you have right so automation actually helps there so what automation does is whatever be the manual test cases we want to execute we can program it via tools like selenium or qtp any of the automation tools you see in the market so you can rerun them whenever we want so that way it saves a lot of time okay uh, even money even the effort and one more thing is Normally, we tend to do mistakes whenever we do something manually, but these automations are more accurate also. Reason being, you are programming in such a way 
you have to execute that particular test case with the number of validations or whatever be the uh, steps uh, step definitions or maybe steps whatever we do have we will execute our test cases in the same way so that way what happen even you repeat the same test hundred number of times the results are going to be accurate as long as your application is fine and working if your application is not not actually behaving as per the expected test case obviously you can create a bug so that way it makes our things faster and it is also makes our life easy especially whenever we want to run the test case regression test cases where we have to execute multiple number of times and multiple different builds and releases as well okay so that is why we need automation it's not like because yeah we are having application development we must have automation no the purpose is different for example let's say you have a small application where you don't really don't have much of the time for testing you no need to do automation that one okay so only whenever you want to repeat certain test cases repeatedly for every build or every release so in that case what happens is the time which takes may be very high where our manual testing window may not be sufficient to completely test the application due to the stringent timelines so their automation will be really helpful so not only selenium guys there are many tools available in the market you might know for example uft or qtp which is which was widely used as well but now if you see most of the web applications are actually dominated by selenium in the market okay so others also others also we do have like rational robo silk test so these kind of different different automation tools are available in the market as well but the selenium is open source and free you no need to pay for example if you want to purchase uft or qtp you need to pay a license of about some 4000 or 5000 dollars per year for a particular per user right but these this selenium you no need to pay anything it is free tool and one more thing is it can be developed using multiple languages as we seen already so we could use java java is also free okay so that way you no need to pay for anything whenever you are using this free open source tool for any of the automation purposes so that is why selenium became actually um lot of applications or uh, lot of automation still runs on selenium in the market okay so you no need to pay anything for anybody to use selenium so that is the thing and then actually selenium is not just one tool guys it is umbrella selenium is an umbrella under which you you could see three as you see on my screen right now so one is the selenium web driver which is widely used and this is the one where we require programming okay so it is not an automated tool where you can generate your script automatically so we need to program it manually so for this only we can use any of the programming like java c sharp python javascript ruby something like that okay and then there is one more tool called selenium ide which is also used widely but it has certain rest uh, limitations we will discuss that also okay so it, it has certain limitations we will discuss that and it is actually a simple record and playback tool normally record and playback is an option which we have in any of the commercial automation tool, like qtp rational robo or silk test okay so even that feature is available here as a separate tool for us and it is a simple tool which comes as a browser add-on okay browser add-on this is the second tool what we are going to learn in this umbrella and then we have selenium grid selenium grid is a again a small tool under selenium umbrella where you can execute your test cases concurrently or parallelly and not only just in parallel you can even execute your test cases concurrently on different operating systems and even different browsers also so that means cross browser testing even cross operating operation operating systems uh, testing is also possible for example i want to run uh, on both firefox and chrome concurrently or parallelly you can do that with this grid not only that if you want to run on different operating systems like linux or windows or mac so like that 
you can run also so this is the tool which helps us to run our scripts in a distributed way or parallel way so that is why it is called selenium grid grid means actually you can understand normally what do you mean by grid grid is a distributor for a lot of things right so that is how it is okay anyhow this also we will be learning but this we will be learning after we complete web driver okay so it, it will come as part of our web driver advanced topics okay so this is how so these are all the things what we are going to learn now let's come to the session i mean how these sessions are organized as you know this is an online session and no video will be shared a screen will be shared and every day recording will be available to you so every day i do record the videos whatever whenever we do we do start the regular classes and these recordings will be available for you every day so if anybody miss the class due to any of your personal or professional commitments you no need to worry the same recording will be available and you can go through that recording as many as times you want and even that recording is available at least six months of your after your course completion i think maybe more i see even few of the um, people who completed couple of years back also they say to me they, that recordings are still available so i don't know but you need to check with the timing sandal with the support team but what i came to know is minimum of six months it will be available so you no need to worry even if you complete the course for example you want to see the class again how it was due to any of the doubts you have you can always go back no problem so the, those recordings also will be available and this session is going to be one and a half hour session usually we handle one hour guys but this is kind of a few of the people wanted to be if, if i take one hour it is going to up to three months because the time which we requires for this course is 50 to 60 hours okay 50 to 60 hours so that way we require at least three months because on an average we take 20 hours a month because it is monday to friday every day one hour normally but this session we actually made one and a half hour to ensure that it will complete faster so aim is to complete this course by two months because one and a half hour means we take our age 25 to 30 hours so that way it will be two months for this course okay so let's say we start on um, 15th of may now so maybe july 15th we should be able to complete our july and max okay so that's how the plan is for this course okay and what i provide award i provide to you is remember every software whatever we use is free we no need to pay anything we need to purchase we no need to purchase anything okay and all the installations everything i'll be getting you so you no need to worry okay how do i do this how do i do that no don't worry about that apart from that i will also providing few of the reference documents like for example when we start with java we will i will give you the document which has the java content and a quick reference so you no need to refer your textbooks also normally you are free to buy any textbook for java we know many of the textbooks available in the market you can free to buy any textbook whatever with the textbook you like but this quick reference will help you to understand that particular concept quickly especially it is prepared in the point of interview point of view so that way whenever you want to go to interview you want to you don't want to refer a textbook with hundreds of pages simple this reference you can take in case if you want to have a quick reference so that in the mind we have a document prepared if you see these are all the topics we are going to cover as part of java from scratch that means introduction to java up to java date and time so whatever we require for our automation purpose only we cover so that way this will be provided to you whenever we start the regular classes as well and as i told you remember guys java we are going to learn only core java many of the concepts which we, we may not going to learn as part of this course which we don't require okay aim of this course is not to make you java developer we want to make you selenium developer remember that okay so that way don't expect that i will be teaching everything in java for you no okay core java whatever we require for selenium only remember that okay similarly even for selenium we do have a document okay normally selenium and all you don't get too many textbooks okay so what we did is kind of a document where you can refer 
uh, concepts of selenium and whatever we discussed how to install everything will be part of the document also okay so nothing is secret here guys i'll be sharing with everything when in that particular time comes for example when we start the regular session for java first then i'll be sharing the java document once we complete the java session and then we share the selenium document these are the documents normally I keep up up to date every time so any any changes in the content it is automatically updated okay so that also you no need to worry and the same document may not be there whenever you if i if i see the previous classes okay so because i normally used to keep up keep the documents updated with the latest versions whatever we are getting even on the selenium so that way we no need to worry so this also will be shared with you apart from that whatever be the programs we do as part of our classes okay for example let me open one of the uh, previous session programs so everything will be shared with you so that you can practice okay and one more thing remember for people who attended last class also i told this course requires practice if you are not planning to practice if you are just want to listen to theory of course it is up to you i don't um, actually say no to you but this course requires practice if you are not planning to practice at least an hour a day it may not be helpful to you you can learn without practice also just as a theory no doubt okay but this course requires practice if you want to really develop your automation skills or you want to write your own selenium programs okay so remember that that is mandatory every day you need to practice whatever be the topics we discuss on that day okay so i would say it takes max one hour okay but normally half an hour is sufficient because whatever we discussed in the class and sample program will be shared with you so we no need to worry you need to understand that and do the exercises also i will be giving exercises as part of this course it's not like okay i'll just teach you something and leave for your um, reference or whatever it is no we'll be doing even exercises exercises also will be discussed in the next session okay so that way you no need to worry so it will be a very interactive session and one more thing is whenever i'm going through the class you no need to wait until i complete the class for questions okay so let's make the class interactive whenever you feel for example when i'm teaching one topic if you feel that there is a question stop me there no problem okay if at all i cannot stop then i will tell you let me complete this part then i will take the question so that way you no need to worry you no need to wait until end of the session to ask any questions okay so i don't want to be a news reader okay so let's make it more interactive so you can ask any time no problem so even the programs also as i shown you here for example you can see a lot of programs we do as part of the class work as well okay so all the topics whatever you are going to cover similarly we do the exercises also these are all the programs we do exercises for every topic in java selenium so something like that and everything will be shared with you so nothing secret here all the documents all the class programs all the exercise everything will be shared with you and the end of this course is uh, the aim of this course is actually by the end of this course you will be able to program for selenium web driver okay provided you practice every day whatever be the exercises i give whatever be the topics we discussed every day okay so for example due to any of the reasons you are missing a couple of days or a week no problem use the weekend we have the videos available for you every day normally videos will be uploaded within 24 hours of your time so that way it will be uploaded so you can practice that way also so if you are missing also no problem normally i see few people join very enthusiastic first uh, two weeks and then once the real programming starts they don't attend okay so please don't do that and don't waste your money too okay so because this requires programming whenever you want to plan to program practice then only you join otherwise please don't join and it is you can join and you are welcome to listen but the thing is theory is different whenever you are attending any of the testing concepts that may works but not for automation because automation requires practice then only you can create your own programs or your own automation scripts okay that's it from my side guys any questions
any questions before we go to the topic of today so um, shrinivasan will we receive the recording after the class so if we have the practice something and we can take the reference yes yes okay. thank you normally they will be uploading um, within 24 hours okay so that means by your morning hopefully it should be there normally okay but yes. max usually sometimes if that guy is on leave or something happens it might be delay some very few days but usually they do update within uh, four or five hours itself okay yeah thank you oh i have one quick question like where we are going to get this uh, recording they will be sharing you the link it is online link only okay so there will be link and password so you can just use that link and password to get nothing okay thank you. i have one question uh, so this tool are you going to help us to install this? everything that's what i told you right so don't you don't need to worry about any installation and all okay okay satya there is a question okay is selenium enough or do we need to learn others like rest assured okay satya the purpose is different selenium is to do ui automation rest assured is to do services automation or api automation okay so the purpose is different of course a few organizations expect you know both few organizations for example they are recruiting for selenium they don't really bother about whether you know rest assured or any of the api tools or not okay yeah go ahead anybody else guys questions no one hi shrinivas yeah uh, one question uh, do you help us with the uh, interview questions and resume preparation yes. by the end of the course yes yes, yes. Okay. interview questions will be shared resumes even i'll be i'll be sharing sample resumes you can send me uh, once you complete i even i can um, review also so if you uh, even the um, mock interviews i can handle okay but the thing is mock interviews and all i don't handle just like that because a lot of people not interested because few of the people who are already working they feel that we they don't require any mock interview so it is up to you guys if you want me mark a mock interview then i can schedule only for you okay so yes okay thank you yeah any other questions guys okay then uh, what is the prerequisite for this course okay so there is no prerequisite guys okay if you know java basics earlier that's fine it will be helpful you learn fast even you don't have any programming background also no problem okay only thing is you need to practice because we start from the scratch programming also java also we start from the scratch so that way we know you no need to worry if you do not have any programming background also okay but as i said yes practice is the key for this course uh, hi shrinivas i just have because a doubt it cannot that... be downloaded it is only online you cannot download recording yeah sorry somebody else was asking uh, question yeah this is anusha so i was just asking uh, at, at then uh, do we work on any simulation of the real time project as part of this course we'll be working on multiple sample projects guys but not this is this course is not a project course okay this course aim is to teach you selenium and you need to learn selenium how to program that is the aim of this course and there is a separate project course which runs i i believe but this course is not okay as part of the learnings yes we do sample projects okay here in the sense we use sample projects to create our test cases but this is not a fully project course no don't expect that okay thank you yeah any other questions guys
Okay, shall we continue uh, then? How many days that tool you, uh, the selenium which we did practice, right? This tool, how many days it will be there? What tool? Like uh, the tool to practice the Java program. No, I'm, I'm not understanding. What is tool to practice the Java program? No, this the program which we practice, right? The Eclipse. Mm -hmm. How many days it will be there? Like, uh, is there any expired date or like that? No, no, nothing like that. I, I told you already, right? All the softwares what we are going to use is free. You don't need to okay. pay anything. All of them are open source. Okay. Okay, but sometimes if some like if if something happen, then you guys will help us again. Yes. To install. Yes. yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Okay. Let's see uh, the topic today. Okay. So today topic what we take is Selenium IDE. So what is this Selenium IDE? So as you know, Selenium has these three tools under its umbrella. So one tool which is very easy and simple to learn and also help us to how automation works is Selenium IDE tool. What this is is, this is basically a recording and playback tool of Selenium automation scripts. Okay, so recording and playback is the common option which we will be having in all of the commercial or all of the automation tools. Okay, for example, if you take QTP, QTP has recording option or UF, um, this one, a rational robo or silk test, all of them are having the recording options. What these are, okay, recording is nothing but whatever be the manual steps we have for that particular test case, we can record using this IDE tool and we can rerun. Okay, it is something uh, a CD. Okay, so for example, if you have a CD player, what happens if you just keep the CD, whatever be the CD you want to watch a movie or something like that, it play, right? Similarly, here your program is a, your CD and your IDE is a player, that's it. And the IDE has the capability to record also, okay, in simple terms. Okay, now let us understand what is this ID? How do we really create scripts? Okay, as I told you, this is a simple record and playback tool. And how do I install that? Installation is very easy. This ID comes as a browser plugin or add on. Okay, ID comes as a browser plugin or add on. Where do I get it? Okay, very simple is go to your downloads and come down here. You could see Selenium ID. See this? So he is available for only three browsers. See Chrome, Firefox, Edge. Okay, so currently, yes, these three only. Now you may ask me, okay, I do have uh, Safari. Can I, no, Safari, they don't have any ID yet. So currently only three browsers only. Actually, earlier it was only Firefox. Later on, they brought Chrome and Firefox. Now even Edge also there. So you could use now which one I need to use it is up to you any browser you can take for example let me install on Firefox you can try on Chrome also if you want okay now how do I do that very simple thing is you can go to selenium in your browser whatever be the browser you want to install and then go to downloads okay and then click on the Firefox one it automatically install otherwise if you don't want to install from here, even you can go through your Firefox options also, like go to add-ons on themes, okay? Search for Selenium. See, Selenium ID is here. So from here also you can do, it is up to you because this add-on is available in the Firefox uh, add-ons list for the browser. So you can download any time from the add-ons of the Selenium. So, I mean, from the Firefox, that way it is. For example, I don't want to go from here. Simple way is from here itself, I'll go. Let's say now I'm on Firefox. Let me install the Firefox plugin. 
click okay now you could see selenium ide by selenium and this plugin only we have okay so let me go back and then see this here add to firefox just click on this and then it'll ask you okay there is an extension it is asking your permission just give add that's it okay allow this extension to the private window we, if you want to be in the private window also we can do it is up to you okay give okay then close it actually no need to close but for safer side because we had some uh, plugin added so i'm just closing it actually no need to close now where do i see that you can see here see the right top wherever i pointed my cursor so this is very selenium id okay so this tool is very easy to install that's it installation is complete you can do the same thing even for chrome and edge also no problem okay for example let me do for chrome also because normally in this course i'll be teaching about two browsers only other browsers it is up to you if you want you can practice also it is up to you but normally as part of this course we will be on these two widely used browsers on automation which is chrome and firefox for example here i'm on chrome currently so go do the same thing chrome also will be even you can you you can install from the chrome extensions also like like i shown in the firefox similarly like this also you can do it is up to you add extension okay added turn on sync no problem okay now you go restart where it is here you could see see extensions id in extensions you could see here that's it so this is how you can simply install this tool okay selenium id id stands for integrated development environment so which is kind of a id many ids are available for any of the programming languages for example if you see our java java programming language we normally do with eclipse or any of the other tools something like uh, uh, id intellij intellij id eclipse id why it is called id is here these are actually softwares where we can develop your programs easily and your 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 program can be viewed via these ides okay so that way it is called id selenium id fine now how do i really do the programming okay i open my firefox browser now you can launch this selenium id just by clicking on it see this and now it is showing me these options what are all these so you could see four options and this is the tool whatever we install now <clears throat> as an add-on okay so you could see here extension because it is browser extension so that is why it is showing extension selenium ide on firefox simple now if you see there are four options available here one is record a new test in a new project second open an existing project create a new project and close selenium ide so if you close it it will go away so relaunch so this is how it is normally it appears in a size which is a shorter smaller one like this guys but you cannot maximize it though you could see this maximize button is disabled but you can drag and drag to the size whatever you want okay that's it now for example the first one is if you want to record a new test a new script so that i am going to do do we have the existing one to open no i cannot use this create a new project it just create a project you can add the test later it is up to you okay and this is to close first one okay i don't have anything for now now what i'm going to do is let us create a test case or let us create an automated test case what it is is let me launch the selenium.dev okay in this first i'll click on the downloads and then i click on the documentation okay in the documentation i click on web driver like this something some action i do so this is my test case for me i need to click on these these days okay so how do we do using our tool now which is selenium id simple first i want to record a new test in a new project so click on that so it is asking okay what is your project name okay what is your project name for example i will give as selenium sample project 
project name is that click ok and then it will ask you ok what is your URL you want to record a test ok give me your application URL so it is asking you to give application URL for example give HTTP yes or HTTP you can give why I give an essay if you observe in the background the selenium.dev has HTTPS secure protocol see here okay so that I am going to give as it is even you can give HTTP also no problem so www.selenium.dev or you can directly give selenium.dev also no problem you could use any of the website guys because this is a known website for us I'm just using that okay remember that you could use anything so start recording now observe bottom of the screen here you could see a pop-up saying that selenium ID is recording what does that mean is the browser it is opened currently under recording that means any action you do on this particular browser will be recorded okay now let me do what are all the actions our test case steps for example i shown you already what was my test case i click on the downloads i click on the documentation i click on webdriver link of the documentation so that is my test case whether to check all these links are available and i am able to launch the pages for example that is the test case simple you just complete your test case steps first is i maximized my browser and then i went on to the downloads link yeah it is downloaded okay and then i go to the documentation link i click on it you just do like a manual test case how you are performing and you could see on this browser only you need to do guys you should not use any other browser because your selenium id is running only on this browser okay so you should not use other browser and you do whatever be the steps you want for example here web driver and then in this also let's say i go for weights that's it okay so that way you could see here now the steps whatever i wanted to record it is done for example even here i want to do one more let's say i do selenium manager click like this and also i want to search on something from here no problem you can do whatever you want for example web driver even you can enter the data whatever you want to do you can do guys no restrictions okay web driver see now web driver displayed that's it i want to stop it here my test case is complete okay how do i stop simple go to your ide window you could see automatically code generated for whatever be the steps you've done no problem how to stop is see here there is a button which is blinking in red saying that stop recording or there is a shortcut called control u okay both the ways you could use so let me click on this it automatically stops the recording that's it now it stopped the recording that means whatever you do on the browser now won't be recorded okay now it is asking okay give me a test case name because you recorded a test case now give me test name okay for example i would say um, this one is we doc links for example we clicked on the documentation links right so we checked whether doc links available or not for example that's it give okay now you see actually your selenium id generated automation script automatically so this is called recording okay this is called recording now okay let me understand how this is what is this happen? don't worry i will explain that now if you see this particular script is generated by selenium id so is this my automation script yes yes it automatically generated now i told you this is a record and playback we did recording but how do i play play is nothing but you are running your script very simple close your browser if you want you can close the other browser also which you opened at the start not required okay because whenever you rerun it will launch its own browser okay so that way you know need to very simple is i created a script now fine but i want to run because whether automation works in the same steps whatever i created very simple go here 
run current test that's it okay before that if you want you can save your script also here save your project for example let me save okay for example here if you see i do have already many that's fine so i would say selenium new project okay save that's it now i saved my project also it will be stored as side side extension file of the extension is side side that means selenium ide okay so that way the extension for this particular code file or um, script file is side you could see i'll explain i'll show you that later so now let me run recorded fine but let me run because the purpose of this tool is record and playback only okay so just run this particular test current test only one test i have so i can run this now you observe what will happen see whatever be the manual steps i created via this particular test case have been run very fast did you observe everything manually run that means what whatever be the steps you recorded it is just playing like a cd simple so this is your actually content of your cd that way if you see an id is your player simple okay now let me rerun normally it go with the fast whatever be the application support that is the reason you could see tap 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 it went but now let me make it little slow see here you could choose whether you want slow execution or faster execution for example you are an environment where it is slow due to any of the other uh, dependencies you can make it as slow in that case it will run the script also slow i keep it medium pace for example now you see this won't go very fast like last time okay now we observe so let me close this now observe again see it won't go like very fast now it will take with the average speed see whatever i manually did remember now i'm not even touching my mouse guys okay i'm not even touching my mouse this only running so whatever be the action it has been running it is from the automation i just not even touching my mouse and keyboard keypad okay so that is how it is now if you see simple now tell me can't you run even thousand times you can that is the benefit of automation if i have to do the same manually every time i require two minutes of time now we get multiple releases multiple builds in a release now tell me how much time it would save if you have to do manually same thing which requires few hours or minutes but that just like that you do that is a benefit of automation okay you just program for it and then it automatically rerun whenever you want not only that lot of things are possible we will learn in web driver also this is how automation really works okay fine we have seen from the ID perspective how it is working now let us understand the code and let us see in the background how does it really work okay so simple so if you see this here right guys this is the code generated by our IDE tool which we did not return it is auto generated okay how this code is generated very simple whenever you have actually started your recording right what selenium IDE does is whatever be the manual step you are doing on that particular browser a selenium will create a code using a technical learning learning is nothing but knowing your application in the sense knowing your steps on the application so what selenium does is id does is whenever you click on anything or whenever you type on anything any action on mouse and keyboard treated as a test case action by id so if you see here first one is i opened the, that is open the window that is fine this for this url we open the window next one is if you observe i maximized my window so it is also maximized the size window size set means it is maximized based on the number of pixels so that is the step then what happened i click on the talk, downloads link see this 
observe the target what it is showing me link text downloads so literally whatever with the manual steps i had on that particular application while creation of the script it is recorded here okay and now let us observe the code little more depth okay what is this command target value okay command is nothing but whatever be the action you performed or instruction you performed if you observe first time i open launch my browser so open then i maximized my browser so i set the size of the window so set window size and then i click on a particular link called download so click is the action here so what is the action i did click and where target is nothing but on which web element you did what is web element means if you remember here page you open for example in this case here all these are called normally web elements okay so what is web element web page is web page is collection of web elements web page, web element can be a link an input box a drop down or a text area anything so anything whatever you can do some action is treated as web element here for example see downloads is a link it's a web element documentation link web element and this is input or dialog still it is a web element like that it is so on which element you are performing that it has created the code now for example here if you observe link text equal to downloads so this particular link has text as downloads how do we know whether this particular link text is downloads okay normally every browser comes up with one tool called developer tools where you can actually scan on this particular html okay how to open is function f12 if you have function key normally function f12 if you don't have function key or f12 see a short window open here right this is called developer tools what it is is this helps us to understand this page okay so this is the html code associated with that page remember your web web server send only this html to your mission okay but this web driver has the capability to display this html beautifully like here okay but let us understand how it has taken link text equal to what was that downloads right link text equal to downloads that i am explaining okay and which web element we applied this is a downloads one so what you do this also comes up with one more option here if you see left side it is called uh, actually element picker so if you see pick an element okay so just click on that now what happens is you just move your cursor after clicking on this see it is highlighting what these are these are all web elements of the page see here don't click anywhere you just after clicking on this particular guy just move your mouse don't click anywhere move your mouse so these are all web elements of the page and each web element is associated with a code you could see in the below window it is changing the code as well see that okay now where i did is i just clicked on the downloads let me click on here let us observe how what downloads link has okay now you observe here okay so this downloads has a html span which is having text as downloads see this yes or no guys nobody is talking are you yes. guys listening to me yes am i audible yes yes, yes. So let's make this class interactive guys okay the text okay. Has to yeah if you see what it has it has an attribute of html uh, tag called span span contains some text right so this is treated as a link text so that is the reason here if you see this particular one saying okay has link text as downloads simple okay similarly next what i did i clicked on the documentation 
if you see documentation is showing me nav item and the child three span something like that okay so why there is a difference between every target how it is representing somewhere it is link text somewhere it is css see css equal to css equal to link text equal to why it is okay so what this is actually whenever our selenium ide learning the application okay it learns that particular web element right while learning selenium id use multiple identification techniques okay so it use an identification called xpath it use an identification called css what we normally call them as identifiers why identifier required is to identify your particular link on this page uniquely because whenever it has to click on this link selenium id has to identify that particular link uniquely on the page so for that purpose it is actually creating all that okay so don't worry about why this is appearing link text css and all as i told you these are the different ways of identification and selenium id automatically does for you you no need to tell selenium id which id or identification technique it has to use okay so that means does it is only one technique no actually selenium id also use multiple techniques right where i can find just select the particular line there and observe this one target here then bring out this guy drop down see actually this particular element is identified with multiple options see there is also, also there is three x paths also see first one is this is the one what we have displayed. See, CSS, XPath, XPath, XPath. Why this? Actually, these are the different identification techniques it has used. Why it has to use four, uh, th two, four, uh, th three plus four plus one, five, in fact, right? Why it has to use two, five? Why can't it use one? Normally, what happens is, and I element can be identified in multiple ways. So what it does is it tries to identify whatever with the ways it is possible for it. And then it will store, but one only it will show you for us. Then what is the benefit of others? Actually, what happens is whenever you are running, if suppose this particular attribute or ID is not matching, it try to do with other available options okay you try to do with other available options to match it so that way your test case won't fail easily okay so this is normally we call it as smart identification okay you try to do that okay so that is the reason we have a many things now you may ask me one thing okay if i don't use this can i use this also yeah no problem no problem it will it may work as well okay so we no need to worry about that don't worry so currently we have link text css all these don't worry guys all this we are going to learn in our web driver okay so these are the just for now you assume that it is a identification technique fine now if you see no. command is an instruction no. target is, but on which element you did that simple now what is the value value field normally you will see only whenever you are entering some value in any of the input field something like that okay so right now i don't see any value reason being i have entered actually in the search here right but this is actually taken as dialog so this may not be internally supporting as input that is the reason you might not see here but for example if you have any other website where input field you have that value whatever you entered will come here value field normally treated as a input field whatever it is you are entering from the keyboard will be taken here now if you see most of our actions are more click 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 or mouse over is it only action no you can do anything for example you can send a value you can download anything you can do but currently whatever i performed was only click okay so that is the reason you could see mouse over click like that these are all the actions so because i performed these actions so now this record what happens is whenever you rerun for example let me run very simple it follows the first instruction what it is open open the browser url 
this is the url next set the browser size to this next click on the downloads link that is what it is performing so is it not your cd content now simple this is your content so it just repeat so that is why it is called playback okay so if you see it is running sorry you can close this also not a problem see same thing so this is how automation really works in the background guys so on your script it performs based on the action whatever you provided very simple so this is your action and this is your target target is nothing but on which page element you did that action okay simple so that is how you could see okay so this is how automation scripts are generated of course selenium web driver don't follow this notation we have to write our own code don't worry okay now this has certain limitations too reason being it generates code here right there is no other ide where you can generate your code okay man now if i want to program it and it is a little challenge here okay even programming everything you need to do from here only okay little challenge for example let's say i want to add my own code you can do that so see this here right click okay uh, insert new command blank for example i want to add a step after i click on downloads or before i click on downloads let me delete this guy before i click on downloads for example you insert new command okay i want to click on uh, projects for example you can do that now what you do project i want to click right you can directly record and click on that project also from here that will be taken otherwise even you can manually add also for example i want to click okay click on which project this one okay projects for example we can do that one also without recording how now what you do see this here target right on which target on the project so what you do here is see select a target in the page so click on this and go to the page and select this target that's it now you see the new step has been added see this you no need to record also one step i manually added simple select that particular target and give the action whatever you want my action is click simple now save it if you want because we updated the project okay now go ahead and rerun now you could see okay let me close all these browsers guys it's confusing yeah and even these documents also yeah now you see when i run this time the same script is modified to add one more test it is possible because a lot of the times we may need to add or modify existing test case whenever our behavior changes right so same way now if you see i added one more step to my test case now this would be performed yes obviously because it is a correct scenario you given your instruction which is click and you given your, your target which is link projects now you see it will be performed see click done projects it went on downloads documentation right web driver see search everything done okay simple okay so this way we can even add modify or delete any step also you can if you want you can delete for example fine my new updated test case says that one step has to be deleted i don't want to click on the projects okay now they say projects have been moved to some other location so it is not here in this page so you should not be clicking on that simple just remove that particular step now re if you want just save it replace it same project you could use guys no need to change every time different project now you see oops i think it went uh, to projects again did i save properly oh sorry actually i did not 
downloads okay i did not remove it mm, let me remove let me yeah close this browser i don't want and now see let me remove it okay delete okay save yeah now you see no projects link right now run see projects link did not click simple okay that means what you can modify your test cases also automation scripts also if there are updates to test cases no problem that is what we normally call it as scripts maintenance right that is true that is part of our automation because we can't expect every time same test case might be there so whenever there are new changes added or whenever there are uh, new requirements added obviously existing test cases may change so obviously we can update your script also whenever there is a change to your test case behavior also no problem okay so this way even you can add it simple so this is how we can do okay in the next session what we do we are going to do little more on this as well as we are going to see the limitations okay so why it cannot be used for enterprise applications it is very good tool if you want to use for small small things and few pro small projects okay but whenever you do have big project where you need a lot of test cases to be written like an enterprise application this may not be a proper tool okay we understand in the next session why we can't use this for the enterprise applications and what are the limitations with respect to tool now before finish i just give brief and um, briefly explain this about ide okay as i told you ide means integrated development environment which is a software where you can see all this fine now we know command target value and what are all other things so okay so the same if you select a particular line you could see command what it is is in case if you want to change your command also you can do for example click is there you want to do click it or double click change it it will double click on this particular target now okay so so this command field normally shows what are the instructions you have okay now let's say for example i want to click only no problem it do now what are the commands we have if you really want to know what are the commands we have just go to any of the blank page now you see see these are all the commands we have so what you observe from here is this only comma is the are these only commands available yes there is a limitation only these you could use you cannot use beyond these predefined okay so that way and now target i shown you already right and then value field is same value description means you can have your own description this does not affect your test case it is just for a documentation purpose nothing else okay it is just for a documentation purpose now what is these two here okay i shown you already this what it is is in case you want to update for example let us say this one is to click on downloads right now you feel that your downloads page is uh, you, this page is updated and your downloads page need to be modified in your script because existing identifier not working in that case what happens is choose that particular line click on this guy and choose that in the page it automatically update your script for that particular one now you see it is updated why it is showing me different now no problem don't worry because selenium does its own way of identifying things so it is using currently a different one okay but still it works no problem okay so you no need to worry about this so this is how we can update if any of your object is updated as well now what is this is in case you don't know who is this object on the page this will identify your object on the page now just click on this after selecting that particular item see click where it is it's not activating click huh? let me okay let me do a different one now 
it's not activating ideally it will show there for example downloads means it will show there no something wrong it's not activating okay but normally what happens is when you click on here in the application it will highlight what is that element okay in the application it will highlight what is that element i think something may be issue with this particular browser i don't know check it uh, check with uh, this one what is that uh, chrome also okay normally tablet now what is this one is you can enable disable a particular line for example i don't want this to be executed simple make comment this would not run okay this would not run now let us see if you see here now downloads would not be picked up let me close this guy and run again see this here this has got commented that means downloads won't be clicked now see it goes to documentation directly see why downloads is not picked though it is code is there but you disabled that particular code in the test case okay so this is to disable now you see it is executed but nothing happens reason being it is disabled see this here okay so you can enable back and similarly new window configurations also you can add that means you can even go to the new window record so you could even record in between the steps also as i told you what you do insert new and then record so that particular step also will be added but remember whenever you are adding in between the steps recording right you must be on the same page as before and after elements otherwise it will fail okay see for example here i do i am on the documentation page if i do anything in the documentation page it works but if i try to do something else page it may not work so that you need to be careful why re-recording on the same script okay so that's it so that's it for today folks and then in the next session we will see little more about it also we will learn what are all the limitations with respect to this particular thing why we need to have we why we cannot use this tool for all the enterprise applications okay so we will understand the limitations and then we move on to the next one which is maybe from next week when we start the regular classes which is our selenium web driver okay this one for this we require java so first we learn java then only we will be learning about the web driver okay i have, I have a quick question uh, 